Now is 6.05. We're going to go check in uh, with Frankie a look at weather. Uh, this is uh, an extreme cold weather alert. I had to look at the date. It's November 13th. Yes. Yeah. This doesn't just, it just doesn't feel right. Did you see how I'm, I'm matching the color map here? The colors? What's the purple mean? Well, the purple means like it's really cold. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like that's, I'm trying to make it a little bit better. Yeah. So the purple, the, uh, the deeper colors that you see here is really just seeing you the temperature out on how cold it is. Minus 16. That's the actual temperature. When I got out of my, into my car, that is this morning in Bradford, I had uh, minus 18 on the car, minus 17 in Distoville, minus 10 down at the island. So Lake Ontario, even though it's a big body of warm water, it's quickly going to cool. Minus 11 in Oakville, minus 7 into Burlington. Let's take a check right now on some of the winds out there. Uh, what we're seeing is the winds 13 kilometers per hour. Winds nice and calm up through Barrie and Muskoka. We have a wind chill right now in Toronto, minus 20. Minus 20 is the actual temperature in Muskoka this morning. Wind chills at minus 20 in Windsor. Over towards uh, Ottawa sits at about minus 25 as a wind chill. Still watching a, a little bit of some lake effects snow off Lake Huron. We have the risk of some flurries into the later afternoon, early evening here in Toronto. That continues into Thursday morning. Your daytime high, it's going to be a very slow climb up to about minus 4. As we get through the overnight tonight, temperatures will climb to about the freezing mark. Tomorrow morning, we start off with those morning flurries. We'll top out at the freezing mark. And then as we head our way in towards Friday, clearing skies and a daytime high on the positive side of four. But we cool back down to minus five on Saturday. That is a look at just a beautiful November weather. Over to you. <laughs>